Here's an example of a pretty cool simple menu that I created a few months back in Storyline. Here's how it works. Um, these three buttons here represent different chunks of content so you can click on it and it will bring you to the content and when you return to the menu a check mark will appear indicating to the user that they've already seen that content. So what I like about this is that it's an easy way to organize um, a lot of content a lot of course content onto one screen and still make it easy for the learners to visually track what they've already um, completed in the course. So I've already set everything up for this content button for the check mark to work, but I haven't yet done it for the review and exercise uh, links. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how to do that right now. I'm going to close out of the preview. We're going to do it in four steps. Step one is to create your completed state for your buttons. So for this tutorial, I've already done that. So I've already gone ahead and created this custom state that's completed that has the check mark on it. You can make your completed state look however you want. It could just be a different color, um, but you just want your users to know that it looks different so that they know that they've already seen that content when they come back to the menu. So step one, making a completed state is already done. So step two is going to be to create a variable for each slide that we want to track. So in this example, we want to track when they go to the review slide and we want to track when they go to the exercise slide. So because of that, we're going to need to create two new variables. So I'm going to click on manage project variables. There's already one created for the content slide. So I'm going to create a new variable, call it review visited. I will make it a true false value with the default value of false. And I'm also going to do the same thing for the exercise and create an exercise variable. Same thing. Whoops. So that is step two of the process. <clears throat> step three is to assign each variable to the slide that they're going to track. So first we'll go to the review slide. I'll go insert trigger. And what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the variable that we just created, the review visited variable. We're going to make it true when the timeline starts on this slide. So when the user visits this slide, the variable review visited will go from false to true. Now we want to do the same thing on the exercise slide. Insert the trigger, adjust variable, but this time the exercise variable. We will adjust that to true when the timeline starts for this slide. So that's step three. Step four is to add a trigger, is to add our triggers to the menu slide that will adjust the state of these buttons when our variables are set to true. So to do that, we're just going to insert a trigger and then what we're going to do is I'm just going to move it so we can look because what we want to do is change the state of and then we want to find our correct button. So first we'll do the review. So we want to change the state of the review button to the completed state, which is the one with the check mark when the timeline starts on this slide, but only if they have visited the review slide. So only if the review visited val variable is equal to true. And so now by adding this trigger, what happens is that this button will display the completed state only when they have visited the review slide and changed the uh, review variable from false to true. And now we're going to add one more trigger because we want to do the same thing for the exercise button. So we're going to change the state of our exercise button to completed when the timeline starts and we're going to add our condition if our exercise variable is equal to true. And now let's have a look at make sure everything's working. So if we click on our review button and then return to the menu, oh perfect, our check mark is there. And if we visit the exercise slide, return to the menu, check mark is there. So that's how you can easily um, use this simple menu to, tr to let your learners visually track their course progress.